get back It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the same And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, now Travis Lee, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, we have Travis Lee, who co-founded 3D Mail Results with his dad, Keith Lee, in 2007. 3D Mail has helped over 10,000 business owners increase the response and profit using direct mail. They help direct mail marketers increase their return using clutter-busting 3D mail products and grabbers. I'm actually one of their customers. You can see this right here. If you can see, if you're watching the video, um, we'll talk about that and some other successful campaigns that Travis recommends. Um, They have a selection of over 600,000 promotional products you can use to make sure customers or prospects never forget about you. Travis, thanks for joining me. Hey, thanks for having me today. I'm uh, excited to be on with you guys. Since it's Inspired Insider, I always like to ask... For you, what was that foul ball off your toe uh, that didn't work? And then on the flip side, I want to hear about what was one of the proudest campaigns that you ran, personally. Like Boy, with a f- yeah. Hmm. Boy, a foul ball. So I had worked. This was client work. Now I had worked mm-hmm. with a client, a financial planner out back east, and um, he had done your traditional kind of boring you know, financial planner stuffy letters, right? That's what he had done for many, many years. And they did okay for him. And he came to me and hired me to write him a more, what I would, more Bill Glazier-esque, outrageous advertising. Yeah, Yeah. and so we used little bags of shredded money. Um, We put them in a clear envelope and we used handwritten let you know we use handwritten googles all our google handwritten doodles all over it and mm-hmm. got away from the stuffy talk and you know put his picture with him and his family in there and talked about um <clears throat> this was with um when the gay and lesbian and doma laws were all changing last year that's who we were targeting mm-hmm. um and we thought we had this thing great we had testimonials from a handful of people in their community sounding good so far yeah it was pulling out all the stops yeah Yeah. i thought i thought we had it and i don't want to say it bombed but it did not do well (laughs) and his old stuffy traditional we've been in business for five billion years and we talking all about them and he beat it and why do you think that is that's crazy I don't know. I yeah. think there was a little seasonality to it. Um, hmm. I, I mean, it was. It wasn't like I wrote this. We created this project for this client, and I had to like get him to do it, kicking and screaming. It was yeah. like, wow, this, this is, is cool. exactly what we wanted. Yeah. This, was, this is exactly what we think is going to work. Turning things on its head and trying it, something new. Exactly, yeah. and and now we're back to doing boring, stodgy, <laughs> and it just works and i wish i knew why because i'd tell them i'd I'd say let's get rid of the stuff that doesn't work and just do the stuff that does work right Uh, now that's it it did okay for him but it could it we basically came down to can we beat the control yeah and we didn't uh and that was frustrating because everyone i mean the people that i bounced copy ideas off of thought it was great my dad a couple people in an inner circle that i keep with um the client who had done they're not marketers but they had done their research and knew what they wanted and they you know, we really thought that was going to work, and right. boy, it just didn't work. And so, that the, the, I guess the value of that test it. is test it. Yeah. Um, and even the even if you think you're got like the greatest thing ever, right. you, you still you the still may speak. end up stuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it sucks. But guess what? It happens to everybody. Babe right. Ruth struck out. Right. You know, my childhood hero Ken Griffey Jr. struck out. Yeah. We're going to strike out. <laughs> so on the flip side, mm-hmm. one of the big home runs. One of the big home runs. Which ones? I got my list here. Let me look at that real quick. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see yeah. here. You know, the, the Kennedy ones are always good for us. There's I a National like Enquirer one. I don't know if that's one of the yeah, home runs. Yeah, that one was just oh, – that one was good. That okay. was one we did in-house. It okay. was for our own use. Um, I try to give things to people that I don't – that aren't my business because sure. it's the whole 
of course you can do it. You're in that business. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, go with a home uh, run that's not, yeah. So let's see here. Let's. This one was good for us. This was one of our very first clients ever when we got into this direct mail piece. And it wasn't even 3D mail. Okay. But it was a window washer. So I mean like is I, I, at the time, yeah. one guy, excuse me, one owner, two other guys, one truck. Like this was, I mean, it's is, you know, as, as far as being a, a contractor, it's about as small as you could get. Right. And he needed, he wanted an infuse, infusion of cash for the holidays. Yeah. So we created a three-step um, buy your wife the, it's, it was a lot better than this as I listened to it in my head. Basically, buy your wife the gift of, of clean windows all year round for Christmas. Okay. And so we, what we basically did is we sent them a letter to his, I don't even remember what it was, three or 400 clients who had previously been in. Yeah. These things cost nothing, 65, 70 cents a piece to send out. So he's yeah. like $200 all in for this mailing. Right. And we essentially sold subscription-based window cleaning. Mm. You sign up for the whole year. We'll bill, you sign up for four window cleanings for the whole year. We'll come once every quarter. The first, you know, we, we'll pre-schedule them, but we bill you every month. And what's great is not only are we going to give you four cleanings, we're going to do it for the price of three. Mm. So we're going to give you three, four cleanings for the whole year. Yeah. We're going to bill you every month, and then we're only going to bill you for the, for the, first, for the first three of them. Um, and that did extremely, extremely well. He got about a dozen people to sign up for this thing out of a little tiny list. I mean, response rate was probably 8 or 12%, something like that. Yeah. Um, got his infusion of cash, got people. Some people paid all the whole year up front, which was fine with him because then yeah. he got that cash infusion at the yeah. end, of, end of November. And we did it for a couple of reasons. One, it was one of our first clients, and we really wanted to see that, you know, well, let's do this. Let's see if we can test this and do this. Right. Number two... He was adamant that there is no way anyone would sh- would pay for what is mounted to subscription window cleaning, right? And it worked. Yeah. And then we then we've since put in all different kinds of contractors into that similar model: yeah. a roofer doing roof maintenance at a at a at a subscription model, yeah. essentially. Very smart. Uh, photographer doing subscription model photography. Yeah. Uh, that's a good one because it just proved that. You don't need a big list, and Even you don't need the, to yeah. be like the biggest. You don't need to be the six hundred pound gorilla in your industry. Yeah, uh, to do something unique and different, and have your clients rave about it. Yeah, yeah, love that one, Travis. Travis, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. The interview would not be complete without a call to action. So people should definitely check out. You know, we're talking about direct response here, right? So three mm-hmm. D mail results dot com, three uh, D mail results dot com backslash or forward slash book. Uh, yep. I actually have the book, and I encourage anyone to go on the site just for get your creative juices flowing. Check it out. Any other places we should point people towards, Travis? You know, the book is your best place if okay. you want to. If you want to see the stuff in action, I'll let a little bit out of the bag. Um, we talked about follow up. You're yeah. going to get this stuff in the mail. Yeah. So if you see request what, the yeah. book, you'll see it in action. So right. right. Uh, in that regard, we put our money where our mouth is. So if you yeah. want to, if you want to. A lot of good inspiration, a lot of good ideas, yeah. and see it in action. Get the yeah. book, and you'll you'll get the book about three or four days after yeah. you request it. About a week later, you'll get another direct mail piece. About two weeks after that, you'll get another direct mail piece. So uh, yeah. uh, keep your eyes and ears open. Yeah, I use your stuff. My wife uses your stuff. It works. People open it. People will bring it back in and say they love it, and it's fun. And so I encourage people to check it out. So awesome. thanks, Travis, so much. Thank really you so appreciate much. it. Been great. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. 